a loose tongue? A loose tongue can cause many problems. A loose tongue can, can actually burn down a nation. Yes. Uh, Honorable Governor, God gave you the victory. And I congratulate you. You are my colleague in the National Assembly. But did God give you the victory in order to go and trample upon everybody, to go vilify everybody, to go abuse uh, 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 you know, um, other leaders? Why are you given that victory, my sister, in order to finish yourself? Because I see a process of self-destruction. Honorable Senator, God gave me the victory. And the word of God says that God will never share his glory with any man. I've tried my best to bring MCS on board, but the only problem is word word. The rest that has been labeled against me is a narrative to cover what the demands are. From the time we started hearing the witnesses from the county assembly, they denied completely about them asking word word. Until when the video clips were played, we came to understand that the problem was word word. I have never and I will never fight anyone as a leader. Okay, I may not understand Kimeru, and yes, uh, Chair, this committee will be faced with a challenge of a very delicate balance of an assembly that will work out on a governor, an assembly that, that shows defiance, but also we have seen clips of a governor who is, uh, and it's not me, it's what we have seen in the clips, who is uh, outrageously aggressive on other leaders, Seem to, seems to be on our path. I mean, the, the body language can also be interpreted, even if I don't understand the language of Kimeru. Um, but let me go on. No, the Bible also says that pride comes before a fall. I hope this victory will not be the cause for your fall. My sister, I also wanted and uh, it let me just refer you as my sister because you know I am. Because you know this case puts some of us in a very precarious situation. And I have said it on the floor of this house. Because I contested for governorship in Kajiado. And I was hoping your success in Meru will propel me to governorship in Kajiado. But today, Three months after the election, there is an outcry in Meru. Will this, will, 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 will really your behavior in Meru help to propel more women into positions or will it bring us down? These are my worries, my dear sister. You know about the women movement. You know about the women who went before us. Akina Phoebe Asio, Akina Grace Ogot, Jane Kiano, Julia Ojiambo, Zipora Kitoni, Charity Ngilu, Mother Karwa, and more recently, Governor Waiguru, Governor Cicely Mbarire, Governor Gladys Wanga, Governor Achani, Governor Susan Kihika. You know about the League of Kenya Women Voters? You know about Center for Multiparty Democracy. You know what it has costed the women of this country to create space for leadership. Will you be the downfall of the women of Kenya? Will you bring, the, because you must see your actions, not just to affect the people of Meru, but to affect the women movement, to affect the girl child, even those we have given birth to. I am sorry to speak this way, 
because you must be told the truth that you must be able to tame your tongue you must be able now that you are the victor to know that it is the victor who needs everyone else it's not everyone else who needs you it is you the victor who needs other people my sister i foresee a situation where you are Young Sifuna, he speaks better English than me, who was telling me in the morning that uh, it is expected that when a young person succeeds, he doesn't go through the door of success, 